To further my review of these ramrod stabilizers, I'm going to put to the test their tungsten vibration dampening weights. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can feel it. I can feel the tungsten powder sloshing around inside the weight. So I've got three sets of stabilizers here, and I'm going to put them to the test to see if the vibration dampening tungsten weights or the tungsten dampening stabilizers themselves make any difference. Okay, so what I've got here is my Win and Win ATF DX, and I have these stabilizers here from Ramrods. I've got three different ones here that I've already started a review on. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll have links in the description below and a card at the top up there for you to check out. Basically, I put through the tests all five of their stabilizers, the XP, the K2V2, the Ultras, the uh, Beast and the Vectors. Sorry, there's five of them there. And shot them without any sort of vibration dampening things on them at all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test and see how much of a difference the actual powdered tungsten weights make. If you're interested in any of these Ramrod products, I will have a link in the description below for you to click on. And if you shop with that link, you'll help this channel out. That's an affiliate link. And Ramrod supplied to me all these stabilizers for this review, so thanks to them. However, it is still an unbiased review. I'm not sponsored by anybody. And if I find any problems, I'm going to tell you the truth, show you what I found, and then I'm going to contact the company just like I did in the previous video. And actually found out there was a piece that got through quality control and made its way to me, a consumer, because they just grabbed stuff off the shelf, threw it in a box, and sent it my way. So, so what I want to start with, I want to start with the Ultra. And I'm going to start with those because it's the lowest price point between the three stabilizers here that I have on the bench behind me. I started with the Ultras without any sort of vibration dampening in them at all. And so what I'm going to do is put those back on my bow and shoot them without any sort of dampening again, just so you can see what they sound like and the reaction of the bow, because you can actually see the limbs reacting a considerable amount when I shoot these without any sort of vibration dampening. And I feel that as the shooter myself, I can feel a lot of limb flutter post shot because these stabilizers are not absorbing really any vibration and they are not very stiff, uh, relatively speaking, except for the Beast. The Beast is a very stiff, stiff stabilizer and it feels the best by far because I shoot so much weight on my stabilizers. I'm using eight ounces on each V-bar and 10 ounces on the long rod. So it's a considerable amount of weight. Even though they recommend this Ultra Bar is uh, ideal weight capacity up to 12 ounces, I feel like it's just not very happy. So I'm gonna shoot these rods first. Yeah, and so just a lot of high amplitude, low frequency vibration. And it continues for a decent amount of time post shot. So let's first swap out the tungsten weights. So you can hear that compared to four ounces. So I'm taking off four and putting four on. Okay. So it should be the same overall mass weight. It's just now it's going to potentially have a difference in the dampening effect. And I suspect it'll make actually considerable difference. I've done a fair amount of my own testing with some powdered tungsten in the past. So I definitely have a fairly high level of expectation as to what kind of difference this is gonna make. If I hit the bow, yeah, the stabilizers flop a whole lot less and overall it feels much better than before. Oh yeah, dramatically better. I feel a couple of hit, hit, and then it stops very quick. Even sounds a little better as well. So as suspected, it's made a massive difference. Yep, so now that's starting to feel like a bow I actually like. Let's swap the actual long rod from this one here that has no tungsten in it to the long rod with the tungsten. 
And so here's an idea to see if it does any sort of difference. Now, this tungsten weight one definitely weighs three ounces more, obviously, because of the weight itself. It's overall the same length. So I can definitely hear it now. So there is tungsten powder in there. Right. So now it's a smaller package. I was able to remove three ounces from the long rod uh, because the long rod itself is three ounces heavier towards the end. We'll see if the stabilizer makes any difference. I don't know. Maybe a little more refined. It's definitely a little softer in the hand. So there's definitely less vibration overall. It definitely feels much better overall. And the bow definitely is much happier. Just smacking it like this. When I did before with the Ultras, with nothing on it, no dampening at all, it was, you know, a considerable amount of floppiness. It is much, much better. The bow feels much better. And it definitely now is something that I would actually consider shooting because it feels a whole lot better with the actual tungsten dampening weights. I like that they're tungsten dampened. I like that, you know, the actual piece here, there's nothing moving. There's no rubber piece to wear out and it's just going to last probably indefinitely because it's just powdered tungsten, which is crushed tungsten, pulverized tungsten inside of a little capsule which is embedded in the stabilizer or embedded in the weight itself. So I really like it. And I don't know, I mean, dramatically different here. This Ultra feels dramatically different uh, with the actual dampener. And I think now I would consider this to be a very, very good stabilizer. Whereas before, with nothing, I really just did not like the feel of it at all. So I'm definitely curious to see if I feel any difference now with the tungsten dampening between the Ultra, the Vector, and the Beast. So without the dampening, I liked the Beast the best. And we'll see here which one I like the best of these. I'm just going to go right to the tungsten dampener on this because I know what difference it's making. It's already making a considerable difference. I'm going to swap these side rods out too. I think of the three here. I prefer the vector graphics the most, personally. Even less, because the stabilizer is much stiffer. I'm gonna pull the arrows and shoot this one. A little bit higher frequency vibration in this one, I think, at least on that first shot. A Little bit more limb flutter. Maybe not. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, it feels quite good as far as the actual feedback in the bow. It feels very, very good for a stabilizer system. Definitely a little bit of uh, flutter from the limbs I can feel personally, but um, I mean, honestly, between the Ultra and these so far, how they feel right out of the box without really needing to do a whole lot of adjusting and just sitting there and configuring with where to put the dampeners and how much to put on and where the weights need to be and the angles of the whatever, it just feels pretty good right away, which is surprising. Uh, because normally it takes me a considerable amount of time to tune and adjust and set up my stabilizers to make them feel how I really like them to feel. So it definitely, in my opinion, I feel like these are very user friendly with the tungsten dampening to be a very good stabilizer system that will feel good pretty much right away. So I do like that aspect of it because I believe most people really are unsure of how to adjust their stabilizers to make them feel good 
for what they're hoping for. You know, I really like that idea as far as the bow just feeling good without much user input needed because I feel like most people really don't know what to do or where to start in regards to setting up their stabilizers to make them feel good for themselves. All right, so now I'm going to put the vector bars back on, or excuse me, the beast bars. The beast was the one that I liked the most without the dampening, which makes sense because they were the stiffest and because of the amount of weight I'm running, which is not a ton, but it's still enough to really start to make those bars flex a whole lot dynamically. Uh, so I'm curious if these are going to still feel the best for me with the tungsten dampening. Between the Vector and the, and the Ultras, I don't know. They were very, very close. And it's very hard for me to tell if there was a difference between the two. Now, I don't know if it's just the visual input, but the Beast Bars on the bow feel more robust. Obviously, they're bigger. So I don't know if it's just playing mind games on me and it feels like it should weigh more or it feels like it should be more stable um, or, or resist movement more. It just... It just feels more substantial for whatever reason. Uh, the mass weight is probably pretty similar. I bet you the Beast weighs a little bit more just because of the size of them, but uh, I don't know. I haven't pulled the scale out to tell. The balance is still the same and it's still good. It just, it just feels, I don't know, it feels a little bit more stable just in the hand without even pulling back. Now this one, it's not as quiet. I can hear more of the limbs humming. I don't feel a lot in the handle, but I sure hear a lot more. Like, like the bow's trying to tell me the brace height's off or something. because I can just hear the limbs for a little bit longer, but I don't really feel much in the way of feedback into the handle. So that's not necessarily a, a good or a bad thing. It's just something I'm noticing. Personally, I would, yeah, so the brace height is an eighth of an inch low. Um, that would probably make the difference in the way the bow sounds. But the actual feel, I don't feel the vibration coming back to me, even though these are super stiff stabilizers. Usually with super stiff stabilizers, you can feel the limbs kind of flopping and fluttering a whole lot. But these just, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to move a whole lot. And it actually is quite good. The stability of them is there. So between the three, because of the way the bow sounds on this one, I don't know, I'm kind of torn personally between the Ultra and the Vector. But definitely without a doubt, the tungsten dampening weights and the tungsten dampening in the stabilizers for sure makes a difference. Which one you want to get really probably depends on what stabilizer you already have. If you already have a ramrod stabilizer without the tungsten capsule in the stabilizer itself, get yourself a set of the weights and you'll be really happy. It'll be very, very good anyway. Now, if you're looking to buy ramrods, get the one with the tungsten capsule internally although you get more bang for your buck putting it externally because it's $39.99 for a weight versus $50 to put it inside the stabilizer. So it's hard to say which one's actually worth it and that's really ultimately gonna be up to you. So again, if you're interested in Ramrod products, please do click that link in the description below. That would help this channel out. Also consider sharing this video. Hit that subscription button and the notification bell down below. Genuinely, all those things help this channel out. Also, if you wouldn't mind, do consider supporting this channel. I produce all this content for free for archers around the world to enjoy, even these reviews. Yes, I got this product for free to review, but I did it under one condition alone. And that condition is to be bluntly honest because I want you, the consumer, to trust that I'm being honest. I found some problems in the beginning, the previous video. If I find any issues, I'll contact the company and make sure it's not my fault or my problem, but uh, I didn't find any issues in this video. Also do consider supporting the channel. There's many different links in the description below. I can't thank my supporters enough and I wouldn't be able to produce this content, at least not to this level without you. So thanks.